let's put that aside for the moment and switch now to Bernardino, um, who had a lot to do with the Mediterranean. And I seem to remember that the EU has been promising um, a Mediterranean strategy for at least three decades now. And the idea being that the North would help uh, the South develop, etc. And it doesn't seem to me really to have worked. And you more recently have been involved in Libya, getting the UN settlement there, which I guess is holding for the moment. So what's your perspective for the next, for this coming, for the decade to 2030? Merci bien. Euh, Permettez-moi d'abord de remercier Thierry de Montbrial et son équipe à, à l'IFRI euh, pour euh, une conférence qui est déjà un grand succès. Et Eptes uh, Andon Oré, je vais parler en français. Je voulais juste remercier Thierry. Donc, je pense que you know making predictions in in this region is always difficult and normally predictions are not very accurate uh, um, but if i think of three factors that will be important in the coming 10 years i would uh, focus uh, on uh, demography on power and on technology i think uh, uh, these are three elements and each one of them with a correcting or an influencing sub-factor. Um, demography, let us think that one-third of the population in this region are between 15 and 30 years. Yeah. And another third is below 15. Yeah. This, this gives you, this gives us an idea of where we are. And uh, it means that these two-thirds of the population in the region uh, in 10 years will be the uh, core, uh, the mainstream. And you were asking us to reflect on where economy and politics meet. This is not people who are expecting big changes uh, or who will have big expectations politically. The region is what it is. Uh, but this is people that will expect to have jobs, to have food, to have a life. And what happens when you cannot offer that? And the region has been struggling. Uh, you remembered before when I was dealing with the Arab Spring, and we always considered the Arab Spring as the consequence of, uh, of the 2008 crisis. Always when you have big financial crisis, Remember Algeria in the 90s, yeah. we had the bread revolt and then the, the uh, elections. And uh, so demography is going to be a huge factor. And I would say the main one in the coming 10 years, uh, affecting uh, and influencing at the same time economic issues and political issues. What is the sub factor here, which uh, is important to, to bear in mind? Migration. Yeah. This will produce huge migration waves. This is, first of all, a loss of talent for the region. But it is also a, an element that will impact what others may do. For instance, the European Union, you were asking about Europe. And unfortunately, many people in Europe can see only the migration dimension when they look at the south. So this will be an important factor influencing what others may do. Number two, power. It has been said before uh, by people who know about this much more than I do, uh, both Eptisan and Itamar uh, 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 described what the big powers will do. So we will see two interesting factors. One is that the local powers in the region will be more active, will have to be more active because we have the, in the U.S. living, the Russians will not have the same capacity as the United States, the Chinese even less. Uh, in this region, if you, don't, if you are not ready, if you're not a power ready to send an army, forget about it. Drones and technology will not replace an army. Who is ready in the world today to send an army to the Middle East? No one, except local yeah. powers. That's, that's the, uh, so 
we will see the peripheric powers, non-Arab powers like uh, Iran, which has always uh, been there, as you said before, but we will see more Turkey and Israel uh, playing a role in the region together with countries like uh, Saudi Arabia, like uh, Egypt, like the UAE, etc. So we'll see more of, of local engineering in, in the region. And I think uh, all of them will be more pragmatic in the future. Yeah. Uh, uh, Iran is a country which has a foreign policy which is about regime survival, yeah. about the Shia communities in the region, whereas Turkey or Israel are more pragmatic. I think they are not about regime survival. They, they have other concerns and, and I think that's interesting. Um, number three, technology. It's been said this decade we will see the uh, paradigm of oil as dominating uh, uh, energy around the world changing. Most of us will use electric cars in 10 years, even if we now don't imagine that. No. So the, the region will have to change. What is interesting is that the region is already a technology producer. It's not anymore depending on, on others. It's, it's not easy to predict what technology will do. I remember 10 years ago, people were saying, oh, digital, digital is going to transform the region because you know, these young kids with their phones, they will organize revolutions with the digital. What we see today is that digital is the tool that uh, authoritarian regimes are using to control their population. So it's not easy to predict, but I think that when we see countries in the region uh, going to space, uh, uh, no. being in very important actors in uh, renewable energies, uh, technology can provide solutions for many of the problems we're discussing today. Food, jobs, e economy, going back to, to your earlier question. So I think it's a factor that will be more and more playing a positive role because necessarily they will have to, to replace oil. Let me make a final point, uh, and it's not exactly technology, but it's, it's something that home ground can be very positive, which is diplomacy. This region has been an importer of diplomacy always. You know, the big designs, the big game, the, the, the uh, UN resolutions. Uh, yeah. Now, this region already for a while has been producing excellent diplomacy. Yes. We go back to the Saudi plan for the Israeli yeah. Arab. Uh, uh, what the UE has been doing in the Horn of Africa, Ethiopia, with the, the, the Qataris in, in Afghanistan. So we have more and more diplomacy. And in the coming 10 years, we will see more diplomatic initiatives from the region and less from outside. And I think this will also be good news for the region. That's a very interesting point. Yeah, I hadn't thought of that, but very interesting. Your, your point about demography actually is the perfect segue into Muna. Muna.